Depletion of traditional energy reserves, as well as dangerous aspects of nuclear energy, force humankind to turn to alternative energy, and the solar energy has a great potential. Many experts believe that the sun's energy can compete with traditional energy sources. This is what the Russian investors make their bet on when they decided to invest in the development of Bright Source Energy Incorporated. Arnold Goldman is the founder of Bright Source Energy Incorporated, a solar energy promoter and one of the founders of the industry. He is convinced that the sun's energy can be effectively used if advanced engineering and technology expertise are put in place together with efficient financial management and supervision. Our second understanding, which most solar companies view themselves as a solar company and then try to optimize around solar, we view ourselves as an energy company that uh, is in the energy field has to provide reliable, dispatchable, cost-effective power. In the 90s, Goldman created the Luz company, building solar thermal power plants. With the use of parabolic mirrors, solar radiation heated oil, which turned water into steam, rotating the generated turbines. Until the end of the 90s, the Luz plant produced up to 90% of the world's solar energy. To this day, the CEGS plant, built by Luz, remains the largest solar power station in the world. However, demand for efficient conversion of solar energy has since grown significantly. But over the course of, from the year, from the 80s to 2011, the electric industry improved a lot. Uh, steam turbines and steam industry became much more efficient. In 2004, Arnold Goldman decided to gather his old team, managers and engineers who worked with him in the beginning. Many of them, after living loss, have worked for major energy companies. But at first, Goldman's former colleagues treated his idea skeptically. They reminded Goldman that laws ceased to exist when the U.S. government changed the energy legislation and the producers of clean energy lost economic benefits. But Goldman managed to convince them that the time was right. New technologies and trends were emerging in the world economy and politics. At first, the reassembled team decided to replace the technology of cylindrical concentrators with a more promising one, a solar tower. So the basic principle of how the solar power tower systems work is we have an array of mirrors that uh, what they do is they follow the movement in the sun. The concentrated sunlight hits the water in the boiler up to 550 degrees Celsius. The steam from water this hot can be used in modern high-efficiency turbines and generators. The energy enters the power grids and then is transferred to consumer. However, the solar tower by itself is not enough to secure success. So we built a technology map that allowed us to come up with something that would be acceptable from a technological point of view, investor point of view, and pricing point of view uh, for the first project, and would allow us to become more competitive with what we envisioned to be necessary in the future. The created map has shown that a large number of projects would allow to reach for positive results of economies of scale and to recoup for investment. Effect Mashtaba Economies of scale are the cost advantages that an enterprise obtains due to expansion. They are factors that cause a producer's average cost per unit to fall as the scale of output is increased, such as the average cost of marketing, procurement, management, research and engineering. Both development and engineering need funding. But before looking for investors, Goldman and his partners decided to check if there was a demand for such projects in the market. We, did, we weren't at that time looking for investors because we didn't think that we were worthy of an investment until we had a big partnership of capability that said this project is interesting and we're willing to participate. Then we thought if this project was interesting and we were willing to participate that we could, uh, that we would be able to attract an investor. And then we had a bit of luck.
John Woolard, John Woolard studied the American solar industry and found that many successful companies were linked to Luz. Woolard went to Israel to find Luz founders. The businessmen met to discuss their vision of the future of alternative energy. To look at, in order to be required to deliver reliable carbon-free power over the next 40 years to have any chance at meeting our climate change goals, we have to build, in the United States alone, close to 2,000 power plants, each the size of a coal or nuclear facility, between now and 2050. That's the equivalent of every single week we're building the equivalent of a coal or a nuclear plant that needs to be carbon-free or renewable. John Woolard. John Woolard appreciated the professionalism of Goldman's team and their ideas. Bright Source Energy has received seed capital from the Vantage Point Fund. And in October 2006, Woolard took up the position as the company's CEO. Bright Source Industry. Goldman also helmed the Bright Source Industries, the Israeli branch of the company responsible for the engineering. Despite the fact that these solar towers were built a long time ago, they were engineered with scientific interest in view, not effectiveness. So many parts had to be renovated. For example, a steam boiler. People built tower technologies, but they never built it with a boiler company. Because there's very, very complicated standards to build with boiler companies. So we spent a year and a half learning how to, what we needed to do to make our solar field look like a flame. Bright Source, Bright Source had to overcome a number of technological barriers. They had to create an effective system of the mirror's motion control, replace the system of water cooling, ineffective in the desert, with a system of air cooling, and develop a system of energy storage. Another challenge was finding the optimal mirrors, big enough and light enough to work properly. They also had to be cheap enough and not too fragile. Eventually, the engineers settled on replacing the single mirror heliostats with the new generation of two mirrors heliostats. In 1882, the Russian Technica magazine reported that soon all the energy problems would be resolved, since the scientists had learned to concentrate the sunlight and to use it for heating steam engines. But there was a catch. The water was boiling, but it was only boiling in a drinking glass, not in the steam boiler, as the scientists desired. And it took 100 years to overcome this catch. But even now, with all the technological achievements, not all of the offer's promises are fulfilled. The heliostats installation is also a know-how. It was decided, after much consideration, to fix the mirrors to a single pylon, plunged deep underground. This technique substantially reduces the construction costs and minimizes its impact on the environment. Each part of the station, each stage of the technological process has been brought to perfection. So that now the bright source energy plants reach the highest efficiency in the world. Thanks to technology know-how and good financial planning, Bright Source signed a great contract in 2008. PENG, the major California energy company, has committed to purchase 900 megawatts of power. It was decided to produce this energy in the Mojave Desert. Ivan Power is uh, the largest uh, project in the world for solar energy, for solar power plants. And it's being built by uh, uh, Bechtel, uh, one of the largest uh, contractors in the world. Uh, the project is comprised of uh, three units, uh, each one uh, approximately 130 megawatt for a total of 400 megawatt. The agreement with PENG and partnership with Bechtel made BrightSource very attractive to new investors. In 2008, they managed to attract $115 million. At this time, BrightSource and Ivanpah project have become known at the highest level. This month, in the Mojave Desert, a company called Bright Source plans to break ground on a revolutionary new type of solar power plant. It's going to put about a thousand people to work building a state-of-the-art facility. And when it's complete, it will turn sunlight into the energy that will power up to 140,000 homes, the largest such plant in the world.
На сегодняшний день в этом году компания заработала более чем 300 миллионов долларов и 7 миллионов финансирования. Некоторые из компаний Chevron, BP, Google, Morgan Stanley и StatOil. Единственный русский инвестор, у которого была возможность участвовать в этой листе, был RVC. Одним из главных эффектов этой инвестиции мы от RVC верим, That main benefit this investment will bring is the possibility of gaining access to a large group of top investors. Investors of the first scale. То есть это that is dealing directly with key players in the global venture capital market, investing in clean tech and alternative energy. Russian authorities understand the strategic importance of this deal for Russian investors. This positive attitude had helped to close this deal as quickly as possible. Thereby, Russia managed to become a full member of the international venture community. Its founders, led by the 38th governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, visited Moscow in October 2010. We understand that innovations are always global by nature and our venture capital funds are beginning to enter the global markets. One example is the activity of the state-owned Russian venture company, which has invested in one of the American solar energy projects, Bright Source Energy. To finance Bright Source Industries, RVC has decided to establish a dedicated venture capital fund, the Russian venture company 1LP. The fund has invested $10 million in the international project. The establishment of a, the Russian venture company investing in an international company like Bright Source shows a precedent for future investment, future collaboration between Russia and Israel. And for my fund and for other Russian venture company projects, it provides great flexibility and range of opportunities that can be engaged. As of today, the cooperation of Bright Source Energy and RVC is not limited to investment. The companies are trying to develop a technological collaboration. They exchange tips and info in the fields of engineering, finance and management. The project has also turned out to be profitable and very successful. This is proven by the constant development and growth of Bright Source Energy Incorporated. We already have uh, in the tunnel uh, five, uh, five additional projects. Uh, two uh, located in uh, Hidden Hills, uh, which is located uh, in the near the border of uh, Nevada and uh, California in the Inyo County. These two projects will be two, 270 megawatt each, and this will be the largest project also uh, beyond more uh, larger than Ivan Pa. And we also have a free project in the development stage. Bright Source Energy Incorporated plans to expand out of California. The company has already opened an office in Australia and plans to develop the powerful solar energy resources of South Asia and North Africa.